This is one of my high voltage supplies. This is a, a set of microwave transformers. And what it is, is it's two microwave transformers that are connected in series. Normally, one microwave transformer will give you 2,000 volts, but here I have two that are connected in series, so it gives you a total of 4,000 volts. And I'm going to turn it on the side so you can see what it looks like, how the wiring is. And you can see the two transformers here, and they're connected in series. Um, over here, this is the uh, input wires. This is for live 120 volts here. Um, I connect this to a variac, a variable transformer, so I can control the voltage. And here, this is a light bulb I use this to, uh, to limit, let me see if I can get out of the way here. This is a light bulb I use this to limit current. Uh, it goes in series with the transformer's primary windings, and it limits the current to uh, prevent overloads. And right now I have a 300 watt light bulb in here. And here, if you can see it, these are the two high voltage output wires, and they go to the terminals on top. Um, this right here, these two wires in the front, these are low voltage, 120 volts. This is the neutral lines and the one behind it, the red line, that's um, live 120 volts. And let me flip it back on top. These are the high voltage output terminals here. Um, these things in the front, these are just terminals for the filament windings on the transformer. I just left those there in case I wanted to do something with that later on. Um, but these are the high voltage output terminals here. And the way it's connected, you end up with kind of like a center tap high voltage transformer. Across both terminals, you get 4,000 volts. Between one terminal and neutral, you'll get 2,000. So from here to here, that's 2,000. And from here to here, that's 2,000. Across both, that's 4,000 volts. And then I have a fan that's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a fan on the side. And that's just to keep the light bulb cool. So um, that's basically it. This is a 4,000 volt power supply. And um, I'll go ahead and hook it up and show you how it works. OK, I have the transformer hooked up now. Um, we're not going to be able to draw the arc that far because 300 watts isn't that much current. Um, so the arc won't look that big. But what I wanted to show you is the funny thing is when, the, uh, when there's no load on the transformer, I'm going to bring the voltage up slowly. You can hear the fan running. Uh, notice how dim the light bulb is. The light bulb is limiting the current because microwave transformers aren't current limited. So we have to have a load to limit the current. Because when you draw an arc from a transformer, you're actually shorting out the transformer. So you have to have a load in series with the transformer's primary line to limit the current. And that's what I'm using the light bulb for. But notice, we're not drawing an arc right now. We have the gap wide open. There's no arc from the transformer. Notice how dim the light bulb is. But when we bring these terminals closer, when we close the gap and get a small arc, watch what happens to the light bulb. Notice that it gets a lot brighter when we short out the transformers. And you probably can't see the arc. Um, like I said, there's very little current. We're only supplying 300 watts on the primary side, so the spark isn't that big. But notice what's happening to the light bulb. Watch, we widen the gap, and the light bulb goes dim. When we close the gap, you notice that the light bulb gets a lot brighter. Uh, what's happening is when you short out a transformer, you actually cancel out the inductive reactants on the secondary one. And this also reflects back on the primary one. So you cancel out the inductive reactants on the primary one. And because there's more, there's less impedance on the transformer, uh, the transformer's primary winding, the light bulb gets a lot brighter. When the gap is open and there's no load on the transformer, the transformer's primary winding is actually adding resistance with the circuit that the light bulb is on. So there's more resistance so the light bulb doesn't light up as bright. But when we close the gap and we short out the transformer, there's less resistance so the light bulb gets a lot brighter. And so you can see what would actually happen if we didn't have the light bulb to limit the current. It would cause a huge current surge. So um, we open the gap, the transformer's not loading. We close the gap and short out the transformer and you can see what happens. And I don't know if you can see the uh, arc at all. Let's leave it like that for a while. Um, the panel you see on the, on the background back there, that's just my panel I use. The meter on the left is showing the voltage, 120 volts. And the meter on the right shows the amperes, how much current we're drawing. And right now it looks like 2.5, I think. It's kind of hard to see. But um, anyway, so this will supply 4,000 volts. And I can actually change how much current I want to supply 
just by changing the load I have for the ballast. Uh, I can put anything in there. I have these big chokes I use. I can connect those and I can actually draw more current if I want to. Um, you can put a motor, a fan, a light bulb, a heater, element, anything just to act as a load to limit the current on the primary side. Uh, some people have run microwave transformers without any ballast, but I don't recommend that because that can cause a huge current surge. And actually, I've heard of the uh, uh, transformer windings catching fire if you do that because you draw so much current. So um, if I connect a, a neon light bulb to this, it'll light up the light tube, a neon tube with no problem. So um, anyway, okay, that's it. I just wanted to show you how this works. And I guess that's it. I'm going to bring the voltage down. Now this is my very app. This is what I use to control the voltage. It's a variable transformer. Uh, I can vary the voltage down or back up. Okay, and then I turn it all the way down. Okay, and I guess that's it. Thanks.